Girls in Tech is an annual event that Commonwealth Bank does within our community to celebrate International Women's Day, but also to let the girls know and understand what opportunities are available for future careers in innovation and technology. What we've been trying to teach them is that business is about people and ideas. If you can get people to believe in you, they believe in your ideas. But learning about all the different things that they can do and all the different pathways that you can take, um, I think it's really, really valuable for young women and it really kind of encourages them to pursue careers. I didn't know I would be into engineering, but when I actually like got to learn more about it and explore different ideas and themes and different things I can do, I was like, oh actually this is cool, I'm into this. We want to get women into jobs, engineers and cyber security roles and make sure that they're bringing their views and their skills into the future. We do get a lot of knowledge and information out of this and also we get to experience what different pathways look like. It gives us a better insight. So it's like not just what we're told but we get like a visual representation of what everything looks like. I think a growth mindset is really important if you want to succeed, not just now but into the future because our industry and agriculture specifically is changing. I'm more interested in the agriculture side of things because I think it's interesting how you can combine these practices that we've been doing for like thousands of years with like modern technology. It means that they can see some people who have actually followed career paths that are different. We know that 75% of our future jobs will require STEM skills and we also know that only 16% of those jobs today are filled by women. So we really have to do our part to close that gap. One of the things that I'm really interested in at the moment is how we're using artificial intelligence to help make a more inclusive classroom, a more inclusive workplace, having people be able to engage and interact with technology more effectively and using that to drive the outcomes of empowering every student to learn. So far I really enjoy design. Um, it's helped me figure out more so what I want to do with my creativity and how I want to branch it out into my future job. It's easy to keep learning because, in or at least in the tech space where I am in iOS, it's always changing. Every year, Apple's releasing new frameworks, new features like augmented reality. It's so cool. These sort of days offer an opportunity for the girls to really extend what they understand STEM to be. And when you have speakers like you have this morning talking about the pathway that they took to come into STEM and all the different opportunities, whether it's agriculture, whether it's building an app, whether it's an educational piece, whatever it might be, just an amazing opportunity for the girls to understand that we want them and that we need them to be working in this area. It's inspired me to um, look for more opportunities and explore what I would like to do. I actually uh, went to major in IT. I was the only woman in that class. Um, and on my first day there, uh, I was actually asked twice if I had to check that I was in the right classroom. Diversity breeds innovation, but diversity requires true diversity in gender, age, nationality. There is so much out there, there's so much available for them and we want to educate them, open their minds and just get them thinking, oh my gosh, I could do that. And if we can achieve that today, then we've done our job. Yeah.